before the birth of our universe billions of years ago, there was no energy or matter. Even empty space did not exit. Then, an event we called Big Bang. Changed all that. Both energy and matter become the part of our universe. Chemistry was born. What exactly is chemistry? Isn't chemistry the study of matter? This may appear to be a simple concept, but chemistry is a sophisticated and extensive subject that covers a wide range of topics from the Earth's core to the farthest reaches of the universe. Chemistry is present in every aspect of life. A definition of chemistry, the study of matter, including its composition, characteristics, and structure, as well as how it changes and interacts with energy, is referred to as chemistry. This is a straightforward definition, that sums up what is actually a complicated and intriguing subject. If you've ever wondered why or how something works in the natural world, the answer is good that your question and the answer were related to chemistry. As an example, when we cook anything in the kitchen, a chemical reaction happens. The uncooked meat is cooked so that our bodies may better absorb the nutrients. When we bake a cake, the components generate the batter through a chemical process. When it goes into the oven, another chemical reaction occurs. Even the manner we keep our food in the fridge has changed. All chemical reactions occur as things decay away. Cleaning is another typical way in which chemistry happens. Chemicals are designed to target certain areas such as your dishes, laundry, and body. Consider how you'd feel if you washed your body with bleach. It would catch fire. However, even youngsters are aware that bleach should not be used to wash their hands, implying that we are already junior chemists. Medicine is another important use of chemistry. The pills and medicine we use are all made from chemicals that are there to make our bodies stronger and to kill viruses and bacteria. Then things like fruits and supplements can be used to prevent illnesses. And these are also produced from chemical reactions. Chemistry is also a vital component of our environment. Chemical reactions lead to the formation of fertilizer and compost for our gardens. Think about how cow or horse dung is used to fertilize plants. People have been doing it for centuries before scientists figured out how it worked. Farmers, on the other hand, began doing so after observing how plants reacted to the dung. So, despite not having studied chemistry like you, they were excellent chemists. However, there are more significant issues to consider, such as how certain chemicals are beneficial to the environment while others create pollution. Only through understanding chemistry, we begin to learn how to make chemicals that are both sustainable and non-harmful to the environment. Although, chemistry seem like the kind of thing that only old people in white coats can do, but in reality, we're all chemists. Like, share, and subscribe our channel, S, K, W. We will try our best, to give simple and effective educational information, via the use of the best animation.